into the public hearing. HA-2014-01, rezoning request by Melissa Bowman and Lawrence Nelson. Mr. Mark? Yes, sir. Uh, this is we talked about at your work session. This is two requests by the same applicants affecting the same property. Um, one is an annexation, the other one is a rezoning. Um, because of the state law, we have to take them in what seems like backwards order. Um, we need to act on the rezoning first and then the annexation. But I think for discussion purposes and even for public hearing purposes, we can discuss them together since it is one property and the same applicant. It is a request to rezone 0.89 acres from County EA, which is the state agricultural, to single family R10 in the city of Haifara. Uh, property is located on the far eastern tip of the city as you go out Georgia 122 on the north side. Um, it's adjacent to the water safe subdivision. Um, character area is suburban area. Residential zoning fits in with that. Um, in the county, this is what they call a non-conforming lot of record. Um, under the county zoning that currently has, it's supposed to be a five-acre lot. It is less than one acre, um, and it is residential use. So it's really a residential lot that currently has a rural <coughs> zoning, and the residential zoning is certainly appropriate. Um, they are seeking annexation to obtain water and sewer services from the uh, city, which are adjacent to this property. And so this has been reviewed and processed as such. Um, pursuant to state law, we sent notification to Miles County. Um, they have raised no objections in terms of land use. So that is to be noted in the record. This was reviewed by the Planning Commission at the meeting this past Monday night, on March the 31st. They found the annexation and the rezoning request consistent with the comprehensive plan, um, the staff's record of <coughs> zoning power. Um, however, they did follow staff's recommendation and recommended that zoning be changed from EA to R15 instead of R10 as requested by the applicant with their application. Um, however, the applicant has indicated to me by email um, as of Monday that R15 is certainly acceptable. Um, on your back in your packet, you see R15 zoning at the Water's Edge subdivision. This is adjacent to that, and since it's residential use, it certainly meets an R15 standard, which is seen the most appropriate. Um, Glad to entertain any questions you might have. The applicant's representative is here in the audience. I'm not sure if would like to speak to you as well. Any questions? How far is the sewer line from the property line? Okay, well, I had looked at the, the GIS maps, which I think are, that data is a little bit out of date. Um, there was water and sewer stubbed out to the west side of this property. There were some utilities that came along the 122 right of way. I think there was one that came through some of the backyards. I think that was a water line. It came through some of the backyards and water's edge, but it stubbed out to this property. I think the 122, there's water and sewer stubbed out nearby. Now, I mean, is that the water and sewer is right up that property line there, about 150 foot from it? About 150 foot from it. Yeah, now, would it be the homeowner's responsibility to run the sewer? At 150 feet or so, sewer line along 122 to that lot? Which is, yes, sir, it's kind of typical of new development, like we talked about at the work session. One of the things was to make the annexation contingent upon the property owners bearing the cost of extending the utilities to their property and tying in. Is that in the request here? Well, it's not, it's not come through the planning commission that way. That was something that was brought up at the work session. The language I had used in the Vegas applicant is to tie in within two years. Um, certainly, if redevelopment occurs on the property, that would trigger that to occur faster. But within two years, I think, would be staff's recommendation. That's a reasonable time frame, in my view, um, to do that. Um, I think the biggest question is the engineering of it, what size pipes are currently there, what is appropriate for extension. Um, part of that question has to do with any future annexations or redevelopment that may occur that may also want to tie on to these lines. Well, that would be a later date. It it would, it's, just, one annexation. it's just worthy of forethought when you're trying to design extensions of water and sewer.
you have the other one, or are you going to just talk about the one? Well, well I, they're both the same. They can be talked about together. I think even public hearing can be together. But as a reminder, when you actually get to voting on this, you need to be separate motions. Rezoning first. Just backwards of logic. Okay, uh, say today, HA-2014-01. Make a motion. I make a motion that we accept the request for the stipulation of the water and sewer that that will be verified by the Rezoning request by Melissa Bowman and Lawrence Nelson. Mr. Mayor, as a point of order for that, I do believe we need to hold a public hearing for this. The Ohio State Law for yeah. annexation and rezoning uh, to take public input. 